what are some of the things you do when you get in overwhelming situations? For example, throughout the day where you are working in the office or have to deal with a lot of things or just at home, you might have so many things to do that it's too hard to handle. You don't know where to start. You have to clean up and make food and other things. And oh my God, so many things. What are some of the things you do in those situations? Or maybe you're trying to fall asleep and too many things are in your head or getting in the way and you just can't. You can't get any stress, can't get any sleep. So share some of your ways because like for me, it's sort of new as I'm learning and growing and getting better. It's like, I'm starting to notice like, oh, wow, like I have so many things to do. My attention is all over the place and I cannot get that laser focus. At times, you know, like when I know like, okay, this is what I'm going to do and nothing else will exist in my world until I get a project done. That's great. But now let's say I look at like, okay, there's like over 5,000 emails to answer. There's tons of comments in the YouTube. There's tons of little things I want to do and kind of have to do. And how do we do it all? Because like I'm all over the place. So recently I started making like a little list. Like, okay, just start with answer 10 comments. Just take some time and 10 comments in a row or 10 comments that appear in use of YouTube stats and all just do that. And so, you know, like I look at back, I look back when I started my YouTube channel and it was all about how do you make videos? How do you create YouTube content? How do you do this and that? And Gary Vaynerchuk was one of my go-to guys for that information. And one of the things he said that I really loved and took his advice back then is, you know, you can't want to grow your channel and want millions of viewers and people watching you when you're not giving attention to those five or two that you have. And I'm like, well, yeah, like that totally makes sense. How can I try to please everyone and want to grow when I'm not even engaging with what I have? So back then I tried to engage with as many people as possible, answer every single comment, now my priorities are different and I'm not spending as much time and I've already reached my goal that I had when I started the YouTube channel. Like it's just like at least get 1000 subscribers. Now it's like over 4,000. I'm like, oh, wow, that's a lot. And I really appreciate it. But as life goes, I have so many interests and things to do that YouTube is, is not my one number. It's not my number one priority and maybe I should make it so, but not right now. So I started like, okay, I need to get back. I need to work with people. I need to give them some attention and acknowledge your existence because you're doing so much for me. You're watching my videos. You're engaging. You're talking to me. And I appreciate that. And how do I show that? Like, and what I can do is answer your comments where, whether it's like comment under your comment or make a video about what you say. And I do both or try to. And like, right, like recently I started like, hey, just make a list and answer 10 comments when I, once I sit down on the PC and that's, that's one little thing answer or deal with 15 emails. And like a lot of that is like some people write their story. Some people want help. Others have situations where people have their own beliefs or agendas. And then I have, I don't know, like constant uh, spam. I don't understand that person. He just sends me like 50 photos a day. So that's 50, 50 different emails, tons of photos with some writing on it. You can't make up like, what the hell is he saying in the writing? And like, you know, like, so like, okay. Just someone wants to share stuff. But as I go and carry on with my business and stuff, that it just stacks up with like lots of different emails and stories. And you might write something to me and it's iron my spam box or it got lost and everything that I'm getting. And, you know, like I'm not a superstar or anything, but I'm not good at getting back to everyone and managing my email. And I'm like, I'm learning that. So like right now, like, hey, just as so you sit down after a little break, deal with 15 emails and the next and the next and next. And like, okay. it's getting smaller. Like a few days ago, I dealt with like 300 and like, yay, that's good. Like next. So that's like another thing, like, or make a video a day. Like this is, this has been a thing for me for a whole year. And if I can, like recently, once I moved to this new place, I'm noticing I'm more inspired. I want to talk more. I'm more open. And this is great. This is really helping. So if I'm in a mood and if I am talkative, I can make two to three to four to five videos in a day, schedule them one a day, and then have some more time for myself. But it's great when that happens. If it doesn't, I just like, okay, try today. I feel like I should do it. And, you know, like I just get it off the list. So that's just a few of the things. But, you know, like there's the whole anime community like well, little things like the other kind of work i do carrying on on that so that's that's some of that stuff like this is how i started to do like just like make a list 
And instead of write back to tons of comments and have a timer, I'm like, okay, at least 10, at least 15 emails, at least that. And so when I have this like sort of not a deadline, but a goal to reach, it's way easier for me to manage that as well as like, let's say falling asleep. That used to be an issue. Like, you know, like I wouldn't take more supplements, but I would make sure my diet, like, you know, I would eat before six. I wouldn't eat much, just like one meal a day, maybe it's just salad with salmon or something like that. I just like try to make like minimize and, you know, like healthier, what I assume in my standards to be healthier, like steaks and supplements and all, but just so many things going on that falling asleep would be a hard thing. So number one thing is like for people that have a hard time falling asleep, it's usually something in their head. They're thinking about something. For me, I would go to bed and I'm about to fall asleep and then I get this exciting idea and then I lay in bed all excited and I'm like, should I wake up and make a video about it or work on this project or stuff? Oh, look, it's 3 a.m. I probably should get some rest and then I don't do it. I don't do the project, but in the morning I wake up and I feel different and it's just like nonstop thing. Um, so I learned like, okay, you know, quiet mind, don't think whatever project you have, like leave it for the next day or get up. If it's so, if there's so many things in your head, you have to get up from the bed because as long as you think you will not be able to fall asleep for most people, I assume. And so with that, you know, you get up and what's in your head. So to take, take out your little journal, your notebook and start writing down, what are you thinking about? What's causing the anxiety or frustration what's in your head what's bothering you or worse than the things you're excited about i don't know like a lot of people when they go to bed they might focus on the little negatives um i wouldn't call it regrets but just so many things that happens throughout the day that exhaust us and we look at the next thing we have to do the goal or oh, i just gotta make more money i gotta clean up the house i gotta get this done and tomorrow i gotta pick up the truck from the auto shop and sort of stuff like that so like when these things get around and it just stacks up, it builds up, it becomes overwhelming. So it's really good to have a little journal and just make a list. And then sort of which one out of all of those things seems to be the most important? Which one, if you just got it done, would make you feel a little bit better? Let's say, oh, you need to clean up your room and that would just make up more space in your time. And okay, like all of a sudden you can manage things better. So like like learning to ask yourself various questions that would help you answer why, why are you doing this? I think that um, Tom Robbins' friend, Dean, I can't pronounce his name. Uh, he has this uh, seven states deep, I think, where he constantly asks the why. Like for example, you know, uh, I need to make money. My thing is like, I need to make more money. I need to like survive and all this stuff. Well, why? Why do you need to make more money? Well, I need to cover the rent. I need to help out like well, my parents and you do da, 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 da. And you just like the answer you plug in into the next why. Well, why do you need to pay the rent? Well, I, I just changed the place to live and I have to do this, blah, blah, blah. And you just constantly like ask why, why, why? Like Dean says that on the seventh why of your thing, like what's my purpose in this life? Well, I don't know. Well, why don't you know your purpose? Well, it's because... I don't know, like I've tried so many things and I've read so many articles and I just can't find the truth. Well, what might be some reason for not being able to find the truth? Because there's so many stories and da 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 da. And you just ask yourself the why and you learn like that's like you go deeper within. It's like some people get annoyed about the children constantly asking like, what's this? What's that? Why? 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 And, you know, too much. Some people who get frustrated by that, like it's too much to confront or it becomes annoying. Like there's tons of things they want to do and they have to take care of the child. So that gets in the way and like they're a bit like triggered because, you know, like they have their own needs and it's not satisfied and they have to watch after their child. But, you know, like that's sort of thing in itself. But kids, naturally, they constantly ask those things because they're curious. But it's also kind of like in a way depending on who their parents are is being suppressed and taken away i said don't ask those questions or it's annoying like stop that and like they get a response that it's not okay to question things it's not too okay to look deeper within or you know you should stop like it's they start feeling bad wrong and guilty for asking questions and it's actually fine so like anyway there's tons of things in life that can become overwhelming for me there's not too many, like mainly just managing my schedule and getting back to people is the biggest thing because there's uh, having more than one platform, like, oh God, I wish I was like more um, on 
and more active on Discord, for example, like the whole community chatting and up and all this time, and I'm not there. And someone's asking me to make a Telegram. I'm like, I'm not even on Discord. I can't manage Telegram. Like, that's a bit too much. And then having Moz, well, okay, like, can I trust these people? Because I don't know, like, too much. So, like, right now, I'm just currently sticking with uh, YouTube and emails, and then I'll get more on the other things. But these are, like, my little things. But you have your own life. So do you have anything that seems or at times was or is overwhelming to you? And if that's the case... What are some of the things you do to deal with that overwhelming stuff? Like maybe you have your own tools because this is my perspective. I have a little different issues than yours maybe. So you can share your expertise, what you do, and you might help out a lot of people as well. Please share that in the comment and I'll see you next time. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.